Once upon a time when things were rotten, not just food but also canes were rotten. Everybody kicked the peasants. Things were bad and that ain't good. Then came Robin Hood. Papa, soon a band of merry men he gotten. They wore out the state of plain green cotton. Helping victims was their business. the main course, and do not shout in my ear. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, allow me to do the honors, my liege. I will have a drumstick, Hubert. Lobby, that's an ox. Oxes don't have drumsticks. Oh. Make it a wing. <laughs> I'll just have a small toast and some crackers. Ah, oh, home cooking. <laughs> I certainly missed it up north. What were you doing in the north country, Bertram? I went up there to collect delinquent taxes. Well, I am fed up with their habitual tardiness. Last month they said that their taxes got lost in the laundry. What's their excuse this month? Equally poor, they blamed it on the plague, huh? <laughs> and they expect us to be sympathetic? The plague? Mm. Yes, your basic plague. People lying in the streets, moaning, groaning, giving out with occasional shrieks, eyes bulging out, coughing. <laughs> oh, shut up. You haven't touched your food. I've lost my appetite, thank you. Oh, let me do, where was I? Oh, yes. Moldy breath, neuritis and neuralgia, fingernails curling, eyelashes falling off, teeth itching, nostrils flaring, upset equilibrium, equilibrium too. Believe me, you don't want to hear about it. Oh, oh, stop packing. We got to get out of here. We saved them the wrong ox and it was contaminated. They're going to get so sick and when they get better, we better not be here. From now on, we're known as the Galloping Gourmets. <laughs> My liege, it is proclamation time. I hereby proclaim that we obey King Richard's urgent request to send him the Royal Seal of England, the only authorized seal of approval without which he cannot sign treaties and could maybe end up dead. <laughs> the end. Let no man say that we are not loyal to the wishes of King Richard. The royal seal. <laughs> Well, there it is, lads. King Richard's royal seal. The official mark of England. Yes, 
And without it, King Richard is powerless to make the alliances he needs to return home safely. But we'll get it to Richard on the next boat to the Crusades. Let's go. Wait! No, this way. I know a shortcut this chambermaid told me. Now that's what I call good maid service. <laughs> I miss fencing practice. Prepare to die! I've got the plague! Help me! Someone, I think I've got the plague! The plague! I've got the plague! The plague's all over me! Wait! If it is the plague, no one must leave this room. No, 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 Are you crazy? I want out! We run a grave risk of infecting all of Nottingham. A pox on Nottingham! Precisely. Then who will you have to tax, to oppress, to scourge and humiliate? Good point, Robin. Although I hate to admit it, I think you may be... right. Ooh. That hurt. Listen, all of you. To keep the plague from spreading, we must stay here for 24 hours. That's the incubation period. Now, after that time, everyone who's still alive may leave. Everyone who's not, well, I'm afraid you'll have to stay. I will be hearing confessions over there. It might be smart to have your bets covered, if you know what I mean, and I think you do. Robin, let us skip one thing straight. This throne room is my turf. I'll run the show, not you. I don't know, Sheriff. When it comes to leadership, I'm a natural, you know. I have an image to maintain here. Very well. It's your plague. <laughs> you there, guard. Isolate all the plague victims and make them comfortable. Ladies, fold some bandages and get plenty of hot water. I thought we agreed that I would be in charge here. Well, what do you want from me? It's in my blood. <laughs> Someone help, please! Prince John is playing! Don't give up, my leash. Hang in there. I had you fooled, didn't I? Tain't funny, John boy. Fooey! 
You did what? For your penance, do five Hail Marys and eight Our Fathers. That and 20 push-ups. <laughs> oh, folding, folding, folding. <laughs> Isabel, that was wonderful. You can get up now, Isabel. I'm afraid she's not choking, Prince John. Oh, no. What a downer. It's young Gilbert, Robin. Have courage, Gilbert. Men, see to him. Robin, my hands are shaking. My mouth is drier than a dust mop. I'm, I'm dripping with sweat. You think I'm coming down with a plague? I don't think so, little John. Like all of us, you're just a little scared. Me? Scared? Little John scared? I've never been afraid of anything in my life. Hold me. <laughs> oh, Robin, I'm so scared. Hey, Rob, this plague isn't kidding around, man. That's too down. I know, Ronaldo. But whatever happens, we must get the seal to King Richard. Yeah, the way we're dropping off, the seal's going to have to take the seal to King Richard. <laughs> it won't be easy. But if I know our friend, the sheriff, whoever is left standing will have to fight their way out of here. If any of the merry men are left standing, they'll have to fight their way out of here. What did I tell you? You will soon need your strength. Fill your bellies. I recommend the bagels and docks. <laughs> gonna miss you, man. Thank you, Ronaldo. What do you mean? You're gonna pull through, Friar. Friar, you have to pull through. I don't know, Robin. This plague is bigger than the both of me. Robin, I don't think I can handle it. Courage, little John. Now listen, all of you, I want... Oh, I want you all to carry on. Ah! I, I don't think that's what the friar had in mind, right, friar? Not really. <laughs> Maid Marian wanted in Plague Ward 4. Maid Marian wanted in Plague Ward 4. I have to go now. Oh, one last question. Do you have major medical? Sheriff, mm hmm Could I ask you a favor, please? Of course, Bertram, if it's a small one. Could you fetch me another pillow? A bit higher. Just a bit lower, please. Maybe a smidge to the left. A bit to the right. Bertram! <laughs> One last request, then. Very well, Bertram. What is it? Mm. I want to be one of Robin's merry men. What? Better one of them should go than one of us. Why, Bertram, genuinely touched. Could you fluff up my pillow? <laughs> Bit to the left. A smidge to the right. That's nice, thank you. Robin, come quickly. I think Friar Tuck's taking a turn for the worse. He's acting awfully funny. Friar, why are you acting so strangely? I'm just hearing my own confession, Robin. That's good, Friar, because I've got a little confession of my own to make. 
Have your attention, please. And now I'd like to introduce to you your next plague victim, a wonderful human being and close personal friend, me. But I want to tell you. <laughs> Alan. Dear Alan. I'm going fast, Robbo. Please, listen. One last request. What? Melancholy baby. <laughs> Another of their side bites the dust. We will soon outnumber them. Is that good, Hubert? Yes. Oh. It just occurred to me, this plague might have a silver lining. What? Yes. Today might be the day that we see the great Robin Hood double over in pain. Oh! Yes, yes, that's the idea. And, and fall to the floor with a thud. Yes, that's it, exactly. And then he would begin to moan piteously and cry for help. Help! Help! I really mean it this time. Hubert, please! My liege! <laughs> He's good. <laughs> the die is cast. The prince has fallen. But we shall survive. For we are the strongest. This is a simple matter of mind over matter, and all that matters in this matter is our minds. And if our minds matter, this plague won't matter, no matter what. What's the matter? Alan, are you comfortable? Yeah, I make a nice living. I got a few coins tucked away. So sue me, I'm irrepressible. <laughs> Marion. Yes, Sheriff. I am a man of few words, and our present situation cries out for bluntness. I have always been, whenever I see your face, all these years, your presence, a, a kind of stirring, a, well, how shall I say it, uh, all these years... Oh, Robin, how I wish we could be together these final moments. So do I, Marion. For once, I envy the sheriff talking to my beloved. What I'm trying to say is that I think I love you. Thanks, but uh, I'm already going steady. <laughs> Ronaldo, uh, it looks like we might not pull through this, and uh, in case we don't, well, I, I, uh, I just want you to know that I'm... I'm sorry for all the times I've mistrusted you. I'm proud to have served in the Merry Men with you. Hey, that's nice, man. Thanks. Hey, you're big and strong. You're gonna make it. But in case I don't make it, I want you to have this belt buckle. Gee, thanks. Wait a minute. This is mine. Oh, that's where I got it. <laughs> oh, 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 Robin, quick! Oh. It's little John. Uh, what? Robin, think it's me. Oh, oh Cedar oh. Ronaldo, I can take it. Ronaldo, hang in there. 
I'm going, Robin. I'm going, going, gone. No, 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 no. You can make it, Ronaldo. I'm going. This is it. I can tell. I see your whole life passing before my eyes. No, no, Ronaldo. You're supposed to see your life, not mine. I know, but you met a better class of people. <laughs> well, it's up to me now. I'm alone now. I'm the last. Wrong, Robin. It seems it's just the four of us. You, me, Maid Marin, and him. <coughs> Her. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fitting irony, don't you agree? That you and I are the last to remain? Yes. But I'll not let the plague do my job for me. Not it mine. A battle to the end, then. Sorry, Marion, but this is between us. All right, drop them. Freeze. Marion, put that thing down. No, drop those swords. I'll use this if I have to. You're bluffing. Try me. I think she means business. Maybe, but she can only get one of us. Yes, and I hope I'm not the one. Drop them. OK, back away from them. Nice and easy. No tricks. <laughs> That's better. Now sit down at the table and no more fighting. And Marion may be right. You don't look quite up to snuff for a battle anyway. You look a little peaked yourself, Sheriff. Now, nothing that a little food wouldn't cure. I haven't eaten all day. Come to think of it, I haven't either. Nor I. I hardly touched my salad at the banquet. Did Bertram have a chance to sup before he keeled over? Bertram, the scavenger, and ate the ox like a pig. Oh, you're much too harsh, Sheriff. Everyone ate heartily, except you and I, of course. It's the ox. Of course it's the ox. What do you think it was, chicken? <laughs> no, 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 it's the ox, all right. That was delicious. A toast to good food, good wine, and bad women. And to good King Richard. <laughs> well, I know you don't like him, but that's ridiculous. No, it's the plague. Oh, that's what it is. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. Thanks for the memories. I, I have no regrets. I, I did it my way. I leave my legacy of evil resting gentle on my mind. Sheriff! No! Oh, pity me not, Robin. Oh, nay, nay. <clears throat> pity yourself, for you won't have Hubert to kick around anymore. <laughs> Good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. <laughs> It's a pity to waste such a great death scene. What do you mean? It wasn't the plague. It was a simple case of 24-hour ox poisoning. The coroners are clear, Robin. Well, Sheriff, we hate to do your work for you, but we'll see to it that King Richard gets his royal seal. Mm -hmm. Away, lads! <coughs> oh, shut up! <laughs> I was just thinking. Yes, Bertram. It's a shame it wasn't the plague. If it were, Robin Hood would be dead now. Bertram, so would we. You know what, Herbert? That's Hubert, my liege. Right, <laughs> Hubert. After a scare like the plague, I'm glad I'm still a living, breathing member of the Herman race. That's human race, my liege. <laughs> Good night, Princess Isabel. Good night, Sheriff. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Isabel. Good night, Marion. Good night, Prince John. Good night, Marion. Good night, Sheriff. Good night, Bertram. 
We never saw that ox again. And as I grew older, I, I often wondered what became of it, and if it ever knew the part it played in teaching us all a great lesson, that memorable day in Nottingham Castle when things were rotten. Mm -hmm. 